Hi everybody, this is Tanya Pizzolatto of Shimmering Tarot. Welcome to my channel. We have a pick a card reading for you today. This is about why did your person ghost you? And this is something we've all experienced at least once. Or we've even wanted to do, you know, because we couldn't handle things. And the I, what I want to warn you about is not to take this uh, personally. This is not about you. This is why your person did it, okay? There's not something internally wrong with you. There's not something wrong with you, period. This is about the person who does the ghosting. You know, this is about a person who is too scared to say what's inside their heart, what they're feeling, or to even look truly at themselves, their weaknesses. They don't want to wound their ego. There's there's all these reasons, you know. So we're going to look and uh, give you hopefully give you some answers and some closure why this happened. But do not think it's really about you because it's not. We're all human. We all have frailties, weaknesses, undesirable undes characteristics. So... We have three piles here for you today to pick from. You can choose by the deck, the crystal, um, by your spirit guide whispering one or the other, or just something is grabbing you. You could pause it right here and uh, meditate for a moment and then look and see what just grabs your attention. And you should know this is uh, these are general readings meant for many people. But if it is your right pile, you will feel a lot of it resonating for you. Go, this makes sense to me, you know? Not every single card will resonate because this is for many, many people. So, number one, pile number one is the Poe deck with a green fluorite crystal point. Pile number two is the vampire deck. With a cherry red quartz. Pile three is the wizard's deck with a pink quartz stone. So all these stones have to do with the heart, you know. Green is the heart chakra color. Red, a lot of love and passion. And pink is, of course, just love, any kind of love. So take a moment, pick your pile. And I'm going to take away two of the piles so we can get started on the readings. And then I will ring the bell to clear the energy between each rating and to call in your spirit guides to help us pick the cards. You know, have them pull them out while I shuffle. So. And I will put down beneath uh, the timestamps for you to pick your deck, you know, so you can go straight to it. And I will put beneath uh, what the decks are and my email address if you want to contact me. So let's get started with pile number one. We're going to clear the energy and ask your spirit guides to help us pick out the to pull out the cards for us. Okay. We have the Three of Wands. Look at all the turmoil in there. We got another one just popped out. Judgment. Let me get some crystals to put on this. Because we don't want to show nudity on the channel.
Two of Pentacles. Three of Cups. I'm gonna tilt this forward more so we can get these all in. The Hanged Man. This spirit guides help us. Why did this person ghost this person? Queen of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. So I'm starting to get an idea what's going on with this person or these people but with this energy of pile one. Three of Pentacles. Four of Swords. So, there is a lot going on with Pile One here, people. get this out of there so we can get these things just a little a bit more in for you to see so pile one this person has you know done a lot of planning you know I'm sure they came in they they wooed you right off your feet they had so much you guys had chemistry you just felt Swept off your feet like in this judgment card. This person just attracted you. And you know, this person has done so much planning, but the things didn't turn out as they had expected. So now they're in like this big storm of emotions here. Just look at this card. This explains what's going on with the pile one, the people in pile one. They, you know, they do these planning. They think they know what they want. And they get into the situation, you know, the chemistry's great. Everything is going really good. And then they're like over their head, like, this is too intense for me. Th this person cares way too much about me. I, I can't take that. I don't really have that to give back to this person. This person is not capable you know, if they were to be judged now, they'd be like found wanting a lot. And they're juggling all these emotions. They have all these emotions, but they can't really say what they're feeling. And they also, they don't want to admit that maybe they want to juggle more than one person, not just you. You know, they want to see lots of people. And maybe when they got together, they were telling you, oh, I just want to uh, see you. And then they decide, oh, this person's caught my eye. This person's caught my eye. I want to I want to try everybody. I want to sample everybody on my plate. And they're in indecision about what to do with you, you know. 
they don't want to tell you that what's really going on with them, you know, because these things sound very callous, you know, especially when they said they wanted to see you and maybe even just you. And this person also is so charismatic. They just, they just attract people and they love the tension. This is a person who loves all the tension they get. They, they love to look good. They love feeling good. They love to be the center of attention of everything. And then you, you feel them pulling away. You know, they're going, this person in pile, uh, the people in pile one, they end up spending some time away from you or you think they just have to do something, they're studying or working on a project. They give you some bogus thing, you know, at first before they just ghost you, you know, because they're not really sure what they want to do. And then we get the four of pentacles and then they're like, I know I don't want to be in a serious relationship with this person. And it's not because there's anything wrong with you. But they're like, I want to experience all the indulgences of the world. People, drugs, sex, money, whatever it is. This is a person who wants to experience it and have it all to themselves. They don't want to share. The, this is This person is about all about themselves right now. And it's better now than while you're married. Because some people do that then too. And they realize they don't want to uh, work on a relationship. Not with you, not with anybody. Okay, so this is really important for you to hear. Is they don't want to tell you. There's not nothing wrong with you. They don't want to see you cry. They don't want to feel like a heel. So they just leave. And then they feel relief. They're like, oh my God, I just couldn't handle that. And then they, they're like, I just need this break. But you know, I feel that this person, in the people in pile one that are like this, they end, they take a little break and then they end up doing it all over again until they deal with whatever their issues are. So... Let's see what was on the bottom of the deck. The High Priestess. So this is uh, very interesting. This is a person who um, is very intuitive. And they know it would be nice of them to tell you, but they don't want to. This is not a person who wants to deal with with your emotions, your feelings. The fool. So here, this person is also they like they like the newness, okay? They love the chemistry they get of a new relationship. So while you're shiny and new to them, they're very excited by you. They're very passionate about you. They enjoy your company. And that and then they want to move on to the next. Ten of Swords, you know, and they start they start looking around with this Two of Pentacles. They start looking around for others, and that's when you feel you're getting betrayed, stabbed in the back. 
For some of you, this person literally makes you feel st stabbed in the back. Even though it's just a betrayal. And you know, this person comes off as just so, I mean, look, this person comes off so friendly to everybody. These people want to be around and celebrate with this person. And then they will turn around, not, not using their intelligence, but just give you the cold shoulder. Not because of anything you did. It's just their way of pushing you away. And here they are in indecision. Because you're not getting it, you know. Sometimes they would like it if the people would uh, just say, I'm out of here, you know. But there are some narcissists here who will be like, no, I've got to be the one to hurt the person, you know. No one leaves me. So in this indecision they have here of not really taking a look how to handle things. Like part of them wants to be alone in the solitude so they can go off to be with someone else. But that really doesn't even slow them down because while they're with you, they start seeing other people. This is a person who really is empty of spirit. This is a person who's um, experienced lots of bad relationships and has not dealt with any of them. With this five of pentacles, this is a person who has not looked inside. They don't even look, see this, the lights are on, the church is open. There are people there who will listen to them, help guide them. But no, they don't want to. They don't look around. They want to do what they're doing. They like their bad habits. They're enjoying them. This is a person poor of spirit. This is why they ghost you. They're not, you know... They start out seeming so nice and, you know, with that charisma that you had with this person... And they were so attractive. Man, they just attracted you so much. Look with this at the sun. It seemed like springtime. It could be the middle of winter. And it felt like spring. The energy was so warm and blissful. Everything felt great when you guys first meet. It's, it's, this is my person. A lot of the... People in pile number one are narcissists because they just love bomb you. They make you feel so good to be around them. But then they're off on to other people. And they don't want to tell you. They don't want to tell you what's going on. They just, they don't want to see you cry. Well, some of them might want to. The narcissists might want to. But for others, these are just people, poor spirit, who have not dealt with their emotions dealt with their issues with past breakups, past relationships, or even their issues surrounding their parents, seeing how their marriage marriages handled, uh, panned out. So he, this person is a person who is greedy. They love... They love sampling all these different people, you know? It's all about them. Everything that has gone on with pile number one is all about them. This is about how they feel, what they want. And they don't even want to take the time to tell you. You know? They, they can't be honest with you. That this is not about you. That this is about them. They don't want to look inside themselves they're just enjoying this cycle because they keep doing this. This is a, a repetition that they keep doing to many people. So don't think it's you. They're doing this to lots of people. This three of uh, pentacles.
King of Cups. This is a person also who thinks quite a bit of themselves. They think they are so above, you know, everything. But they're not. They're actually at the bottom of everything. They're, they're living off base behaviors. You know, their root chakra. Their what feels good. They are only dealing with what feels good. I mean, look at all these people here drinking their, their hooch, getting drunk, feeling good. This is all about what makes this person feel good. That is what this person is about. And even here, when they're supposed to spend time meditating, now this is just maybe lounging, taking a great long rest. Because they, they need it. They party quite hard. This is a person who does everything that feels good way to excess. Wheel of Fortune. So I know for a lot of you, they're like, oh, yes, they will get their comeuppance. Well, eventually they will. You know, you don't get away with the things forever. But right now, things are going their way. So let's get some Oracle cards. So you get together with this person and you think this is eternal love. Lasting commitment. This is that's the sad thing. Is this is how they made you feel when you guys got together? Choices, feeling blocked, restrained, and it's not long after you get together that you start to feel blocked from this person. Your feelings are not being returned. See, this person, pile number one is, works off their instincts like a wolf. You know, we've got to eat, we've got to mate, we've got to fight, you know. They're just going by their instincts. They're not thinking things through clearly, and they definitely don't want to see or deal with your feelings or your pain. And even while you're still, before they even ghost you, you start missing them. There is the signs that they are not there with you, you know? They're uh, returning your calls less and less. They are, you know, even when you're with them, you feel like they're not there. To witness, to know, personal evidence, speak out. And they don't want you to speak out. They want to be the person who does the speaking out. Really, this pile one, this person is all about themselves. The, you are basically a body to them. At first, you're interesting, you know, because you're new. But really, this is this relationship and all relationships that they experience is all about them. What, their fun, their pleasure. Never jam today. Promise that never come to be. Empty words not living in the now. Yes. This person brought you in, made you feel so good. You know? With the Queen of Wands, the Sun card, everything felt so great in the beginning. The chemistry was off the charts. And they were so charismatic. 
and charming and everything. The sex felt great. Touching their hands felt great. And you felt these were promises that would really be there, but they were not, they were never to come. They were really truly empty words. Carnivorous flower fairy. T a tempting offer has a high price. So this person, to for you, was uh, someone who was very shiny, okay? They seemed so perfect. The facade they put on for you was incredible. Their hair was done perfectly. They dressed beautifully. But you didn't see this carnivorous flower that surrounds them. This energy that they they eat what they want from you and then leave the rest. They take what they want and they're gone. You know, these these are this is a temporary thing for this person. This is a cycle that they keep doing and repeating over and over again. Voodoo in blue, back off. So, this is, when they ghost you, they're like, they're gone. You're not even going to hear them say, back off. And this, the inner shift, shift is so powerful. It leaves you feeling so empty and alone and confused. This person has left you feeling so abandoned when at first everything seemed so beautiful. So let's. They're trying not to hold you, mold you. You let them take your power. Yes. This is a person that you go in wholeheartedly for. You're so attracted. Everything seems great. You believe their words of love and promises that are truly empty. And so you just give yourself so completely over to them. And that's what makes this hurt so much. You believed everything. You you gave all your power over. And you tried to be whatever they wanted you to be. That is a that's the hard thing is that we as human beings want to, you know, have approval. You took your love away. They assume you moved on. They did take their love away. But it wasn't really love. It was an illusion. And even before they um, just blocked you and ghosted you, they were already moving on. Before they made it evident too much to make it work. Tried of putting in the effort. Tired of putting in the effort. Really, this person doesn't put the effort in. They think they do, but they don't. That's the really sad thing is they they don't. And they make you believe that they, they gave you so much, but they didn't. Need more info to trust. A sacrifice needs to be made. Well, really, this person is not capable of being, of trusting. They make a show of things 
to you. Like putting on this monocle like this person, you know. Like maybe even bring you flowers. Like they, they do these superficial things. Like they're trying to be a good person. A good boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever there is. A good person to you. Trying to keep their power once to be once the upper hand. This is the ultimate here. Especially for the narcissist. I know some of the, the people in pile one that we're reading about are narcissists and they've got to have the upper hand. You know, they've got to always look good. They gotta always be putting someone down. For other people in power pile one. They are not about, it's not about looking good. It's about what feels good to them. You know, they don't think intentionally I'm swallowing all these people up. They're like, it's just what feels good now. And then they're gone. Bye-bye. You know, they don't have it in them to give you the closure you need. They don't want to talk about what went wrong because there was you didn't do anything wrong. There was nothing that went wrong. Really, what happens for this person in pile one, the majority of pile number one is they have this repetition, this cycle that goes on where they meet someone, it feels good. Then they somebody else catches their eye and they move on. And then they do that to them. And then they do that to the next person. And they're always, even when they meet you, they've always, they never close their eyes or are not looking. They are always on the hunt for their next person. So I'm, I'm just trying to tell you, really, this is not about you. I know this is a relationship you were in with this person. But this person is about themselves. Everything is about how they feel, what they want, what they desire. And man, they really did make you feel good. So don't feel don't feel bad. You were not stupid for uh, falling for this person. They were, they were so attractive. The chemistry was insane off the charts. And it felt so good at first being with them. No one would turn that down, you know? But this person is truly an, a mess, you know? Pile one. They're not good in relationships. They love leaping into them. They love experiencing all these fun things with you. And then all of a sudden you start feeling them pulling away. They just enjoy doing these things without thinking about consequences to you or anybody else. It's about what feels good to them. So that is pile number one. That was the Poe Tarot. So, next is the Vampire Tarot. So, let's ring the bell. Clear the energy. Have the spirit guides help us pull out the cards. Spirit guys, why did this person ghost this? That one. Three of Cups. Felt like one jumped out. Yes, it did. The Hermit.
Nine of Wands. So, let's see what else the Spirit Guides is going to pick out. Another jumper, the Empress. King of Wands. The sun. The sun is coming in, getting that vampire. Where for most people, the sun makes them feel great. Eight of Cups reversed. Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Oh, what was at the bottom? Nine of Cups. So this really is about this person is so content when they meet you, okay? They enjoy your company so much. This Nine of Cups is so all about all this contentment. And here we have the Three of Cups. You know, so everything is really spectacular when you meet. You guys are having a great time together. Enjoying each other's company, going out, celebrating, enjoying life together. And this person seemed like, you know, they had been uh, single for a while. That's the, the energy that they gave off to you. That, you know, they were not in a relationship of any kind. But this is telling me a different uh story this nine of wands this is very intense tiring energy you know chemistry is great but there was someone else they didn't complete the situation they, they never dealt with it and when you met this person they were really so attracted to you by your nurturing, that you were just so caring and down to earth. You seemed like a, a mother, mother nature type person, you know? Very caring, loving, supportive. You made them feel so on top of the world. The king of uh, cups here, is it cups? Wands. So you made them feel, you know, just incredibly attractive. You made them feel, being around you, they felt great. But they really didn't have the maturity of the level of king. This was an illusion. An illusion that they were, that they buy into. That they are beautiful or studly. Whatever it is. But really, they're not.
they always end up leaving someone co behind and cold. You know, like when they met you, they, there was really another relationship going on with this nine of wands that they hadn't finished. They didn't want to deal with doing it. So we see this, uh, but they never told you about this. And they don't want their um, bad behaviors exposed to the light of the sun. They try to keep, you know, a dim shadow on themselves. So you don't truly see who they are. In the dark, they seem gorgeous and have it all together. But if you saw them clearly, you would see they don't. They're not that attractive. They're always very clearly going to walk away. Even though this, this is in reverse. At first, they don't want to walk away, you know. At first, they enjoy your company a lot. You know, this is a, pers a serial monogamist. That's a person who enjoys their relationships. You know, however long their period is. They have a cycle about this. But they go through relationships. They love relationships. They don't like, you know, dating a whole bunch of people at one time. They like having one person and moving on when they find their next per relationship person. You know, this is, this is a kind of addiction, you know, serial monogamist. They like having someone who is there for them who takes care of their emotional needs, who supports them, you know, until they get bored. This is just who this person is. You know, they have not dealt with their issues in life. You know, they start a relationship and they really seem to be putting in the effort they, when they start these relationships with, the, with their people. You know, things start to grow and bloom and everything is seeming beautiful. And then they rush right on out and grab up somebody else to be in a relationship with this nice swords. They're like, oh, that was a great relationship. But oh, here's my next great relationship. And they are off. And while you guys are having this relationship, they are truly content and happy. This is just what a serial monogamous does. They're serial cheaters, but you know, and this person doesn't know how to tell you, you know, they don't even realize that this is their pattern. But that, you know, Sure enough, as you hook up, there is an expiration date on the relationship. And sure enough, with the next relationship, there is another expiration date on that one. And they may not even be aware of this uh, pattern that they keep reliving over and over again. <laughs> I love you, Coco Pup. My dog is just pushing and leaning on me. Give me attention. Coco Puff is a serial lover. She got to love everybody and have attention. Yes. And were there any signs? Knight of Cups. Okay. Just, they did this to you just like they did to the last person, to the next person. They constantly do this. They come in wooing you. Hardcore. Knight of Cups, you know, it doesn't have to be a male just because it says knight. Any gender works, okay? Knight is just, a, it's more mature than a page, less mature than a queen or king. But the Knight of Cups energy is someone who comes in wooing you, set, telling you how much they love you, telling you how wonderful you are. 
I mean, they really sweep you off your feet, make you feel so good. Feel on top of the world, you know? You make them feel like the top of the world, you know, is the king of wands. You make them feel so good about themselves when they're, this relationship starts in Knight of Pentacles. But they, they don't have this energy in them. This is something you're hoping for with them. That they are, this is this long term, steady, stable, loyal. But this is absolutely not who they are. I'm not going to, I think that was just too many extras that came out. Two of Pentacles. Look here. This is a person looks like they've got this happy family at home. And here is their new person that they're dating. So this is a person a person who likes to have lapses, you know, between relationships. There is no in-between relationship because they are always in a relationship. One just overlaps the, the next one. And when you get with them, they, you really don't think they'll ever leave you. Because everything is so wonderful. Then, big whammo. Seven of Swords. Duplicity. You, you have this person acting so wonderful. And here comes the big switch. They're moving on. They're not where they say they will be. You know... They have already found their next person, and things are starting to seem crazy, and you're like, what is going on here? You, you keep catching them in lies, and you start to doubt everything, and that's where you should be like, I'm out of here, but nope. You get the judgment. This person has not had an awakening as, as to who they are yet. This is a person who truly doesn't know themselves. And they're going to be repeating this until eventually they have an epiphany and go, I don't want to live this way anymore. But that's not anytime soon. But this is the way they're going to live for a very long time. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, with this um, Knight of Swords, they're moving on to a new relationship that seems stable. That's overlapsing with your relationship. So that is who they are while they are with you. So let's get some oracles. This deck is so big again. In moments regret, nostalgia, idealistic past, fearing you've made a mistake. So, this seems like so great when you meet this person. Everything was so wonderful. It reminds you of some other happy times you've had, you know? That's how great this feels when you meet this person. 
And it's something you, you carry on with you way too long because they just disappear. And you think about it with so much fondness when you should be going, this person was a jerk. You think that there was something wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with you. All must have prizes. Trying to please everyone. <clears throat> so that is who this person is. While they're with you, they're trying to please you, you know, and still please the other person as they're leaving them until they're just totally gone. Witness to no personal evidence to speak out. They don't want the, the, anyone speaking out about who they are, you know. Here comes Coco Puff again, wanting love. Coco Puff, say hi to everybody. There's Coco Puff. She said, like, "Give me attention." She keeps rubbing on my legs. Give me attention. You're a good girl. Transgression, flaws, contradictions, mistakes. This person, okay, this perfectly sums up pile number two. Your person or people in pile number two are full of flaws and you don't see them. You just see the wonderful things about them because they made you feel so good when this relationship started. For a long time, you know, until they meet the next relationship. And they never tell you really the truth about themselves. Because they don't want these things coming to light about who they really are. They think, you know, this is normal. Having all these relationships. And then just being gone. Anti-hero, maverick, risk taker, rule breaker. This is who your person is. They are a maverick. They don't play fair. Hansel, survival. But this is how they survive. This is, this is their life. Having lots of relationships and overlapping. Because this is not a person who can be without a relationship. This is a person who has to have the relate, a relationship that's telling a person who is there for them and doting on them, loving them, nurturing them. They've got to have that till they have the next one. This is not a person who does well on their own. And they may ha have moments where they find themselves alone, but boy, they are looking. They usually don't. They usually have someone planned and already started before they're on to their next relationship. Curiouser and curiouser. Discovery, inquiry, weirdness, curiosity. So you, you do start becoming curious about this person. Because they are displaying odd behaviors to you before, before they have moved on. Before they have disappeared. You do start to see things. Choices, feeling blocked. Feeling restrained. So, you know, this is the emotions this person is putting forth to you. But this is what is normal to this person. 
but they still know enough to know that they don't want you to know or run into their exes. You stand your ground. You're intelligent. It's intimidating. So this person is really bold. They, they see nothing wrong with who they are. They know that they have people out there that are angry at them, exes that are very angry at them. But they will stand their ground like... I did nothing wrong. I met someone else. I didn't want to deal with, you know, whatever you wanted to talk with. I was gone. That is who this person is. Because they don't have any answers for you. They don't even know themselves well enough to tell you what's going on with them. Fate has its own plan. Blocks are for the highest good. So for you, it's a good thing that this person's out of your life. Because it's not healthy. It's not healthy for you. Well, for them, it's not healthy either, but it's how they like to live. It's the way they know to live. Resisting change. Afraid to turn the wheel. Yeah. Yeah, this person does not have any desire to change their behavior at the time at this time. So really don't feel like there's something wrong with you. Because it's not. This is about the person. This is about pile number two. The people who live this way. It's a cute little dog. Feels safe. Safer being friends. Friends are a big influence. This is a really messed up person. They feel like, oh, if I ran into this person, they would be happy to see me, you know? When you really have a lot of uh, screaming you want to do, you know? Or crying. Whatever the fe feelings you're feeling, you're not, they're not nice feelings. They're not friendly feelings you're feeling. But this person is delusional. There's a choice to make. Lovers you and someone else. But that's how this person always lives. It's not just this time. This is constantly... Before you, there were many people that overlapped each other. After you, many people who will overlap each other. Every relationship ends up withering and dying like these roses. It's just who your person is. There is nothing wrong with you. That's the important thing to take from this. There is nothing wrong with you. This is just the way your person is living. And they don't want to experience your feelings. They don't want to talk about your feelings. I mean, really, everything starts out as a big celebration. And at the end, they're starting off, they're hastily running in, starting a new relationship with someone else thinking this is a nice, stable relationship. All over again, they had the same feeling with you. That you were so caring and nurturing and loving. This was wonderful. It's how it starts with you and how it's starting with the next person. And this person, you know... They don't do it thinking they want to hurt you for not pile number two. It's just the way they live. And they have no other way of doing things at the, the time. So let's go on to pile number three. Clear the energy. 
Holy Spirit guides to help pull out the cards. It's the little rose quartz. This is the wizards. So Spirit guides, what do you want us to know? King of Cups. What do you want us to know about? Why did this person ghost them? Three of Wands. Five of Swords. Oops, had another one. I love it when they just, the spirit guides just pull them out. Two of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Six of Swords. Two of Cups. Five of Cups. Empress, Four of Swords, so number one, there's a lot of toxic energy in this pile, number three. This person has a lot of toxic energy. And they also have all this, the, these feelings of love. I want to see what's at the bottom. Eight of Pentacles. So this person comes into your life. They are very serious about you, okay? Pile three. This is a serious person. They, they come in and professing. And there's all these... Uh, Words of love, how much they care, how wonderful you are, how attractive they find you. Cause, and this is how they feel about you. This is truly how they feel about you. And they feel that you are this wonderful growth spurt in their lives, you know, that they attracted someone like you with this three of wands. That there's this chemistry, that there's feeling of abundance coming with you, you know? Things are flourishing. But, you know, these wonderful feelings get met with arguments. You start to see cracks in the uh, walls soon with the arguments. And they do not fight nicely at all. They say words that wound you. This person, you know, with this Five of Swords, when they fight with you, they say things that hurt you beyond belief. And they mean to do it. And that's when they start, you know, juggling you and maybe another person. Or maybe a few people. And you're feeling like you're tied up. This person is confusing you. And they're like, oh. They, they act like they're the ones that are being emotionally manipulated by you. This is where their sickness starts to show really well. It should have showed by then. But you're like, what? This person turns the plates on you and says, they're gaslighting you, you know? 
that you did that, that bad thing. Six of Swords. And they threaten leaving you, actually. For you, that would have been a great thing that would have happened. But no. They have to play more. Because there's this back and forth. More loving energy, you know? The, the moments of... Um, it happens with narcissistic relationships. Uh, love bombing get you back. Then more grieving. After the love bombing, you know, things are a little good for a little bit. Then there's the next fight. Right after, right under the previous horrible fight. And then things feel great again. You feel like you're the most beautiful person in the world. Sex is great. You know, you have the wonderful makeup. And you're alone again. Four of Swords. This person has disappeared on you. This person... Realize, nar this is very much a very narcissistic energy in pile number three. Narcissists don't think there's anything wrong with them. It's you. Everything is you. Everything is everybody else's problem. They're great. Everybody is a source for their amusement, for their entertainment, for feeding their ego. Yeah, so when they say these hurtful words to you and it hurts you a lot, they feel great. This is how sick pile number three is. You don't notice this at first because this person has loved you. They have wooed you from the beginning. This person has said all these wonderful words that you, you bought, hook, line, and sinker. It's, it's the real nature of these relationships. You know? And they, they play the game until they're completely on to someone else and they're tired of you. And they don't want to deal with you. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Here they are. They are starting with the two wands. They're juggling you and with somebody else or maybe a few somebody else's. They are like feeling like the stud muffin. They are a player. That is the energy that comes with this. They feel best when they are, are doing this, when they've got a few people on the hook. And they feel like they win when they gaslight you. Okay? Here they are messing with your mind. Saying you, you feel like you're being trapped by them. Which you are. That's the reality. They have messed with your mind so much. But then they gaslight and turn it around on you and say you do these things to them. And guess what? This makes them feel spectacular that they won this has fed their ego so much and even in some cultures you know with the men they they get away with this and are cheered on by other men for doing these things five of cups the judgment. Here they should be seeing that, you know, they need to be learning something, but they don't. They just see you as beautiful. The other people is beautiful. And they're enjoying you. And they're enjoying their next person. But this is when they decide, oh, I've gotten tired with this person. 
And I'm not going to even waste my energy to say goodbye. So they just walk away with this immature energy. It's just like, I'm going on over here. I'm going over here to find, to enjoy this new person. I don't even need to think about this person, pile number three, that you're there with. This is a part of, this is really just part of how they live, how they enjoy the relationships. And believe me, there is nothing wrong with you. This narcissists leave behind a lot of wounded people. And that is what they have been doing with you. Wounding you. Because it makes them feel good. That is part of their pathology. Bluebeard, taboos. You know, so in the beginning, when this person has come into your life, they have uh, love bombed you and said all these wonderful things to you. It That should have been your first signal that there's something wrong with this person. Because they come out of the gun too strong, too loving. Maybe you've been feeling uh, not loved enough lately. And so it, it really wins you over. But there is nothing wrong with you. Envy, punishment, changing course. So what you don't know is that there's someone in the background that they feel are feeling punished because their attention is not with them anymore. It's with you. This person makes sure he always has their narcissistic supply of people to make them feel good about themselves. Love conquers all, enduring loyalty, eternal love, lasting commitment. This is the thing that they do to you. Before you, they did it to this person. They made you feel that this is a love that's going to last forever. You know, with all of this love bombing, you know, the, the, these wonderful words that everybody wants to hear, you know. But usually, gradually, over time, you get all this. This person starts out right out the gate with this. That's the first sign that the, you have found your narcissist. Yes, things feel great in the beginning of relationships. But this person is way over the top. Oh, time for change to learn something new, to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. So maybe they are learning to even woo you, like text messaging. They are finding new ways to woo you and others. Everything new they learn, you think it's for you, but it's for the their whole uh, game that they play. Voodoo and blue, back off. So, you know, there are moments where this person is starting to become very rude to you. You know, it's part of the game. You fight, you make up. You fight, you make up. And here's where you make up with the two cups. Never jam today. Promises that never come to be. Empty words. So they fill you more. They fill you back up with empty words and promises. Lots of more love bombing, okay? 
there's a time they keep love bombing you until they know they have you hooked and they don't need to do it anymore. Keeping up immense effort advance. So, you know, this is a their, their game. This is their thing that they are playing. And it takes a lot of effort to keep everything straight. Everybody straight. Hunter, aggressor, tracker, provider. So, you were the hunted. Now they're hunting somebody else. They're gone. They're out of your life. You don't even know what happened. You would, you're you just so overwhelmed, you know. This was a whirlwind thing. They came in just so overwhelmed you with loving words and thoughts and actions and things they did in the beginning. And then all of a sudden, they're done. When they're done with you, they're done. And they don't want to talk about it. They're done. They don't care about you. That's what you need to realize here, pile number three. They don't care what uh, closure you need. What Whatever you need. They don't care about that. They feel pressured by you. One shot to get it right. The only pressure this person feels is keeping things in balance until they're ready to move on. Because remember, this person's got to have you till they're done with you. They have a delicate balance. Real urgency, lack of care or effort. So when they're giving you all this love, they still have another person from previously still in the picture Till they're ready to just totally disappear. And they're feeling a lack of love and effort. This is probably when they are ghosting that person. They just haven't realized it yet. That they're gone. Not on the same page. Just, your desires are not do not align. So here is the truth about this person. Your desires do not al align. You want love and marriage or whatever for long term. They want it for now. Till their next one relationship. Everything feels great. For them, you know, until they're ready to move on. Overthinking the situation, confused by many choices. And sometimes they do get, get confused. Sometimes they have more than you on the hook. They might have a couple people that you know, they're choosing between for the next relationship. And heck, they don't even care if you find out that they're sleeping with someone else. That is the problem with the narcissist. They will make it seem like it's your fault somehow. That you didn't satisfy them. Which is bull. You can talk to people about what you want in your love life, whatever. You can break up. You don't have to go around hurting people. But this is what pile number three enjoys. Deep frustration. Experiencing a lot of anger. Narcissists do experience a lot of anger. That is the problem with your pile number three. Your people are very angry people. And they take it out on you. They enjoy it. They, they love to give you love. They love to hurt you. That is just part of this person's cycle. This is how they live their relationships. What was this? Witness. To know personal evidence to speak out. 
And this will not go over well with a narcissist if you speak out against them. I just saw that that was there and not turned over. So, when this person leaves you, consider yourself lucky. Maybe you have been thinking about it, what went wrong. Everything seemed so wonderful in the beginning. You, you live in the beginning because everything was beautiful then, you know. They made you feel special. That is the thing the narcissists know how to do. So, don't feel like there's something wrong with you, pile number three, because there's not. There's not a, a thing wrong with you. This is the way this person lives. It's how they get their their ego, how they supply their ego and keep it maintained. And it's the thing they treasure most is their ego, their vanity. It needs to be nurtured and polished with hurting others. That. And that's what's important to this person. So what is going on with you does not matter. They don't care if you need closure. They don't care if you're hurt. They don't care if they you think they that you love them. That's even better than leaving you cold and you thinking they love that you love them. They do not deserve your tears. This is the person's problem. This is not your problem. Pile number three it is the person's problem who's doing the ghosting, is doing the, this game on you. You ha have done nothing wrong but get caught in their trap. And once you, once you get caught in the trap, it is time for you to spend time taking care of yourself. Maybe even uh, seeing a therapist or a group support group for people who have been dating narcissist or coming out of a relationship from a narcissist because you'll find that you are not the only one that a lot of you are experiencing the same feelings, the same experiences, not from the same person. Some of you, it's not the same person, but the, they all narcissists have these, this way they do things. And that's just how it happens. Because the most important thing in the world is them. How they feel about themselves. Not you. You are just a part of uh, feeding the ego. Feeding the their narcissistic supply. You're, you're crying. You're upset. That feeds them and makes them feel good about themselves. That they have this power over you. So take it back. You're not even with this person anymore because they have left you cold. They want nothing to do with you. They made promises you, to you that will never come. Empty words. So start living in the now. Start nurturing yourself. Forget about pile number three. This person has no ability to love you or anybody else, just themselves. They they only fake it till they get you hooked. So I hope this helped you, pile number three, to realize what has gone on in with your relationship, why they ghost you. It is a part of their game until they're done with the relationship. They move on, and they don't bother to say goodbye or anything. They don't want to deal with it. They're just gone. Because they nothing matters to them but them. Bottom line with this person, file number three. So I hope this helped you. Take care of yourselves. I hope you all take care of yourselves, your families. Be good to each other. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so YouTube will tell you when I put out another video. And, oh, I'm sending you all lots of love and kisses. Thank you for being here, and I'm sending you all many blessings. Take care, everybody. Bye.